All right. I finally got this cover off. It was indeed uh, stapled in four places in each corner. And uh, I used a uh, pry bar and it came out pretty easily. Second one, a little bit more of a fight, but um, yeah, still not bad. So now at least we can see the speaker that's in here. And it would appear to be made by Heiko, which is a German company. Um, I couldn't find any information on this exact model because it's too old. But Heiko still make drivers and they still make uh, cabinets and speakers. Uh, I think there is some connection between Heiko and Braun. I could be wrong there, but I think they used to make drivers for each other or something along those lines. So that's good. Um, I cannot get to the back of the tweeter yet. Um, I can see it if I, uh, you know, get in under there, but uh, there's no name on the back. And I was reluctant to take these uh, screws out because I was worried the tweeter would just fall right back inside. And uh, so I'm going to have to be careful there. I don't actually have to take them out. I'm just curious as to who made them. Uh, these cabinets are wonderful, heavy, and um, I'm going to, they're, they're somewhat scuffed and whatnot, but I, I've already started to um, uh, sand one of them and uh, stain it. And also, this is pretty uh, heavy duty, uh, two inch insulation, and uh, there's quite a bit of it in there. Gonna have a look deeper at that as I go. But anyway, so far, so good. I've also ordered some uh, surrounds. I'm gonna switch to rubber. I know that uh, a lot of people say don't, you know, switch the material if it was foam, put foam back in, but. I don't ever want to have to open these again and even when I sell them I'd rather say that they are rubber not foam. So on this set of speakers I don't think that's going to change the performance all that much and even if it does how would I know I didn't hear them beforehand. So by working they're going to be better than they are now. Um, if I have any problems installing the rubber one and need to go back to foam I will but it's just I think where possible um, and where they aren't um, critical I'm going to use rubber so I've got uh, two sets coming and I'll start with these uh, Patterson Industries and I'll make this my you know my guinea pig if I fuck it right up I'll take it off and try again I think I am going to have to get rid of this, uh, um, it's not cork, it's paper, but uh, the gasket there because that stops me from getting at the uh, um, getting at the corners that I need to glue the uh, surrounds back in. Anyway, yeah, I just finished scraping this one. I had a time lapse of that, but it might not be obvious what I was doing. I'm just trying to get down to the bare metal there. There's an awful lot of glue stuck on there and uh, it's coming along. I could probably glue it on the way it is now. It's, there's enough surface area but I'll probably get uh, some kind of solvent maybe and get get that shit right off. Obviously trying hard not to fuck up the, uh, the cone at the same time. So anyway, yeah, having fun with these and uh, I'll bring you all back uh, as I make progress on them. Thanks. Have fun. Stay dirty. Talk soon.